is in your face. Yes, boys, we are back and welcome to another video. So it's been ages. I, I don't even know what day we're on. In fact, I'm probably going to stop numbering the days on these updates because I honestly don't know. Um, it was probably two weeks ago since I did a store update on this store. Now, I have pretty much done nothing on this store since you last saw me. Uh, I've kind of been doing uni stuff. I've been kind of doing um, other store stuff. I've been uh, focused on clearing out the lockup a little bit. Focused on clearing out the spare room. Uh, just, yeah, sorting a load of other stuff. Uh, it's really, really good to be able to talk about the uni stuff now. Um, because, obviously, you know where I'm at kind of thing. So, this store has been left a little bit because of me trying to basically sort out the other sides of the business because I've got to deconstruct the business at this point now. I've got to slowly uh, work down the stock that I've got, get the most money out of the stock that I've got, um, but basically at the end of the day get it gone as well because I've, I've got to have it all gone by the time uh, I'm going to be gone in September. So um, yeah, I uh, have not so that's why this store's kind of been slacking over the last couple of weeks, but I have been doing other stuff. So there is, saying that, some few things that I uh, need to touch on with this store. I've actually got three new sales since you last saw it, or maybe four. Oh no, actually, I'm missing one. There, there was four. So I'll have to uh, get that up in a second for you. In fact, you know what? I'm going to get that sale up now, and then we'll continue with the vid. No, it turns out we had another three sales. So I've got six sales to share with you on this account, which is really cool. Uh, also, very important, this is... Probably the um, most important thing I've shared in a, set, uh, a store update to date. We have a star. We have a star on our feedback. How cool is that? The Eclectic Attic 2020 11 feedback with a little gold or white star. My eyesight isn't very good. I don't know. It gold i don't know it's probably gold so yeah we have a little star which is really really cool uh, 126 pound 98 in sales i don't i mean I'm, that must have changed actually since you last saw it but I, I don't even know where we're up to i mean maybe last time it was 70 quid or something i'm not sure maybe it's an extra 50 quid or something over the last couple of weeks something like that maybe um so yeah we'll go through do the sales and then that'll pretty much wrap it up for the store update i've got 22 uh, active items on active listings so it's gone down quite a bit i think i might have do i have any unsold no, I don't have any unsold, so that's cool. So, um, yeah, 22 active items on. So, yeah, I do need to update this. Do I need to put another few items on here? But, yeah, can't really knock it. Six sales to go through. Now, I hope I haven't shared any of these with you uh, in the last update, but I don't think I have. If I have, I apologise, but I think these are all new sales. So, anyway, you can be the judge of that. So, if I have included one from last time, then, yeah, you just have to ignore it. But yeah, first one here is this vintage Bank of England JS Ford Series, uh, series C. One pound notes times 25 varies prefix serial. Now, I did say that I was hoping these would go to 25 quid. And I was baffled that they didn't. Because, as I said, I'm pretty sure that you can trade these in for one pound coins, right? A, a bank or somewhere, Bank of England or wherever it is, I don't know. Um, so, therefore, they would be worth minimum 25 quid, right? And then they've only gone for 14 99 So I don't know. Maybe someone's got a real bargain there. And then obviously they could literally just go somewhere and trade them in and get a tenner profit straight away. Or maybe I'm wrong in thinking that. Maybe that you, you can't do that anymore. But I'm pretty sure you can. Um, now these were in pretty poor condition. I've said on the... Um, condition note here you know voting poor condition and stuff um so yeah i mean i wasn't necessarily incredibly surprised that we didn't get loads of traction but i would have thought we would have got a bit of traction so a bit of a shame on those but these were from my personal collection i just wanted rid of them anyway at the end of the day i didn't really want them in my collection anymore uh, i want i want to actually start at some point i know it's another thing that i need to do that i always forget to do but i really do want to uh set aside some time and set aside a little bit money as well uh, to invest in some banknotes to broaden a banknote collection out that, that is actually a pretty decent collection that's not just full of crappy or, well like they're not really crappy but in terms of a the condition they're pretty crappy but these like you know just one pound notes like that uh, i don't mind some one pound notes in my collection but i want them in uncirculated condition and i want them with really really good prefixes uh, i want them with replacement prefixes or i want them with um special serials oh yeah 
Oh my god, how hot would that be to have... Uh, I swear I derive some weird sexual pleasure out of weird... I don't even know what's going on in my mind. But anyway, um, no, but how hot would that be if I had... Like, loads of £1 notes, which were like, really, really low serial numbers. Oh, God, that'd be hot. You tell you what, I am such a nerd, aren't I? Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that one there. 14 99 plus post. Can't, can't, can't go wrong anyway, because it was just personal collection stuff. Next, we've got this Exit, the Sinister Mansion Escape Room game. I should pick this up for... Uh, two quid in a charity shop. Just whacked it on auction. I just thought, ah, just let's get it gone. Let's see if we can get a quick turnaround on this. And it got like a couple of bids, uh, eight fifty there, plus my postage. I don't know how much I've got out of that. Maybe four, five quid net profit there, something like that. Anyway. Um. So yeah, just a, a nice little item there. A uh, nice quick turnaround in a week as well. Couldn't complain with that. Next, the Hobbit Unexpected Journey figure, Bilbo Baggins and Gollum, eight ninety nine. I'm actually in profit on this. Like I said, I'm in profit on the Hobbit job lot stuff of all the figures and stuff so yeah after postage and fees that'll be pure profit although saying that there's not much profit left in that 8.99 anyway after your fees and stuff um we've got this renny Z nitzer nitzer ingenious the strategy game for all the family um it did have a few marks and wares to the seal and stuff 14.99 i think i paid 350 for this and, uh, yeah, 14 99 uh, no postage on that, though. Uh, again, I probably got about seven quid profit on that. Six, seven quid profit, so can't complain there. Again, it wouldn't have took too long to go that. It, it definitely was a couple of times around, something like that. But, yeah, still can't complain on that one. Nice little uh, flip there. Next, Ravensburger, Ellis Lowry, coming from a mill, thousand-piece jigsaw puzzle. 12 99 there, free post. Would have liked to get a bit more for this, but I ended, uh, I ended up actually putting it down a little bit because it didn't seem to be getting a bite at, what, four? 14.99 or even a bit more that I had it on. So 12.99 there. Three. I think I've paid four quid for this. 3.99. So not as good profit on that. But I wanted to just turn it over. The thing for this for this store is I don't want things in there as. Uh, for you know for ages I don't want them in there for any real length of time. I just want to be constantly flipping them over. So yeah, I might have only made what. Four quid on this, double my money, something like that in terms of net profit. But, you know, I'll just take that and then reinvest it and buy something else and flip that and flip that and flip that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, it's just an interesting one there. Star Wars Saga Legends. Again, I didn't pay anything for this. This was something that I got for free. Uh, so, 4 99 plus post after the fees and postage come off that. Uh, obviously, that's pure profit uh, after posting fees. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is the Star Wars Leg Legend Django Fett one. Um... Now, I don't know how much of a likeness that is to Django Fett. It doesn't look like really much of a likeness, but anyway. Some of these figures, though, you know, some of them can be pretty crap. The um, Actually, the Star Wars one for Han Solo, I find, isn't a brilliant likeness. But, you know, I bet some of them are actually pretty good. I bet some of them have really, really good likenesses. But that, I don't know about that one. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, like, immediately say that's Boba Fett, but still. Anyway, I'm not really that big into Star Wars. I've watched it, of course, but I'm not, like, crazy big into it. So, someone else might be able to verify that completely for me. But anyway, that's that. So, that's a store update. I won't ramble anymore. So, uh, yeah, just a few bits and bobs just to share with you there. Uh, I need to get listing on this store, so I'm going to have to do that. Maybe even later on today and uh, sort some things out. So, yeah. Well, that being said, I'll leave it there, and don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment, duh, 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 all that sort of stuff. If you've got information, if you've got questions, if you've got that, get involved in the comment section. The comment section is barren. The comment section is barren, and we need to get more people in there, because I'm going through about once or twice a week, I'm going through the comments, I'm hearting them, I'm replying to them, I'm doing all that sort of stuff. Granted, I don't go through every day or every other day, but that'd just be madness doing that, unless I was doing YouTube full-time, of course. Um, but no, you know, once or twice a week, I go through a heart of comments, I reply to questions people have and stuff, but it's getting barren. It's getting barren, folks. Get get involved. We, we want some interaction here. We want to interact and meld in beautiful unity together. Let's uh, connect, you and I, you know. Oh, what's that out of? Oh, that's a brilliant film. Uh, well, let's connect you and I. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.
busy feeling too comfortable. I don't think I can be satisfied. 2015 thought I had it all. Watch it all slow down.